Hey guys, Delta here, and welcome to the sixth episode of my Killzone Shadowfall Weapon Guide. In this episode, we will be covering the VC-30 Sickle, a powerful new pump-action shotgun created by the Vasari Corporation. The VC-30 Sickle is a brand new weapon, and the first Hellgas-made shotgun seen in the main series. It is a pump-action shotgun that bears resemblance to the Keltec KSG, and can be equipped by the support class in multiplayer. The VC-30 has an extremely unique feature in that it has two barrels and two magazines that can be loaded with two different kinds of ammunition. Unsurprisingly, the sickle deals an incredible amount of damage in its effective range, with the potential for a one-hit kill. This isn't a guarantee, however, as you need to be accurate to make sure enough of the lead shot in each shell connects with its target. In addition, the one-hit kill range on the VC-30 is very low, on par with the range of the sidearms. By default, the sickle carries 10 shells in its magazine tubes, but when one of the magazines is loaded with a different kind of ammunition, you are limited to 5 shells. Each shell is loaded into the gun individually, taking 1.9 seconds to load and cock one shell. A full reload of the VC-30 takes 7.5 seconds to complete. Taking into account the one second long delay caused by the pump action, the sickle is capable of firing roughly 50 rounds per minute. In close to medium ranges, the bullet spread of the sickle is fairly tight, an advantage that will help players score kills with this weapon at longer ranges. The VC-30 has a limited number of optical attachments to choose from when compared to other weapon classes in the game. By default, the sickle is equipped with the dot laser. These are Shadowfall's equivalent to iron sights. The only other optic available for this gun is the HGH Hollow Sight. It provides a larger field of view than the dot laser and a slight 1.2 times magnification bonus. But the bullet spread of the VC-30 isn't affected by aiming down the sights, so this optic is mostly for aesthetics. This attachment is unlocked by simply killing 10 enemy players with the gun. The Sickle has more options when it comes to its secondary attachments, the first of which is the Incendiary Rounds. This is an alternate ammo type that is loaded into the second magazine tube, allowing the player to shoot shells similar to Dragon's Breath. They have a limited range and low stopping power, but multiple shots will light enemies on fire causing continual damage. Additionally, your magazine capacity will be limited to 5 shells instead of the standard 10 when this attachment is equipped. This attachment is unlocked by killing 25 enemies with the VC-30. The second attachment is the Flashlight, which functions the same as it does on other weapons. When turned on, it creates a bright beam of light that illuminates the area in front of you and disorients enemies caught in its beam. However, it can also give your position away very easily. The Flashlight is also unlocked by completing a single challenge, killing 50 enemy players with the Sickle. The VC-30 is an absolute monster in close quarters, and one of two fantastic shotguns in Shadowfall. It is one of my preferred weapons to use with the support class, and when placed in the right hands is downright devastating. With the Sickle, I prefer to run loadout reminiscent of the Engineer class of previous Killzone games. I keep the default dot laser since it is not as bulky as the Hollow Sight, blocking less of the screen. For a secondary attachment, I run with the flashlight, since the incendiary rounds lack stopping power. Moving on to the sidearm, I like to use the Sta 19 Rainer, since I am already using a shotgun as my primary weapon. For an attachment, I always recommend the laser pointer, for the increased accuracy it provides. The explosive I recommend is the M194 Frag Grenade, for more accurate use. You'll be fighting in close quarters with the sickle, and the area of effect damage of the Petrocyte Grenade could backfire. To round out this engineer-inspired loadout, I use the turret as my secondary ability. It's incredibly helpful in covering objectives, and will take down enemies with poor situational awareness with ease. The VC-30 Sickle does massive damage in close range, and despite its lack of effectiveness at longer ranges, it is one of the strongest weapons available to the support class. Learn the layouts of each map and which routes to run, and you can dominate every match with this shotgun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Killzone Shadowfall Weapon Guide. Make sure to check back next week when we cover the Sta 61 Voltour, the second gun in the Scout class. Until then, I'll see you next time.